All right. Hey, I just uh, decided to stop along the side of the road, and I know this is kind of unusual, but right now I am actually at, this is Elizabeth Street in North County, okay? I'm on Highway 270 on the side of the road. I'm praying that I am safe here. But anyway, so this is Elizabeth Street, which is exit 27. I'm on Highway 270, and there is a Circle K right here. You see the Circle K right there? And then if you go, you see my little horse with 111. I can explain that. And anyways, if you look way in the distance, I'll make it bigger here for you. You can see a green sign, and it says Kansas City West, okay? Now I'll explain why I'm, why I'm making this video. So between that green sign there and, let me make the Circle K a little smaller here, okay? And between the Circle K right here, notice the colors red and orange, and uh, they've got, you know, gray trash cans, let's say. <laughs> you know, they have a smoke coming out of exhaust. Anyways, some of you will get that. Anyways, so I was literally on February 11th, about three o'clock in the afternoon, I was driving down 270. Uh, I, you know, was my work was over that day. I was just heading home. I really wasn't thinking too much at all. And uh, and when I passed up, you know, this exit 27, I saw the Circle K. I really wasn't thinking anything. But as soon as I saw the Kansas City West sign in green, as soon as I saw that. I immediately had a thought, and the thought was, oh, I wonder if the Kansas City Chiefs are playing today. And as soon as I said that, immediately I went in to a supernatural trance. Now I know without a doubt that it's like, see this rail right here? Or see the, hold on, let me see. See the rail, see the fence down below? That's about where my mind was, okay, even though my physical body and brain were still driving down the highway, okay, <laughs> I'm telling you, the cars, the sky, the, the trees, the houses, everything disappeared, and I was stopped, suspended in a supernatural trance right in between that green sign down there and the Circle K. And I know that's weird, but there were people that had trances in the Bible many times, and it is something normal. And in Acts chapter 11, Peter talks about the trance that he was given in which the Gentiles came to faith in Jesus Christ by a, a net that was a cloth that was full of unclean animals was let down three times, okay? The number three was significant, and it's in chapter 11. And then Paul shares his revelation, which is in chapter 22 of the book of Acts, about when he met Jesus Christ. So somewhere right there where, like, you see the rail, and then you see that little fence, okay, right after that. My brain was right there looking in between the K and the, and the West, and everything disappeared. I mean, everything. I mean, I saw only, the only thing I saw was, it was like if anyone's done VR, okay? VR, uh, because people have motion sickness with VR, what happens sometimes is that um, they have a thing called uh, comfort and safety. And so you can literally block out everything behind you and on the side of you, and you run your little avatar uh, in a little circle in front of you. And it just helps with people that get, you know, dizzy or headaches or have motion sickness. So I literally believe that God used me as a little AV, AV an avatar. And maybe this is a message just to the young people that understand this. Most older people don't know about uh, the uh, VR world, but the young people I think today do. Anyways, so it was like I was my spirit and my mind were on the side of the road and I saw in that circle a collage of signs. They were like in a circle. Um, they weren't, you know, like normal, like you'd see signs. They were like a collage and they were around in the circle. And then in the center of that, there was a light gray stone tablet, okay? 
the, the same color as this rail right there. So, I mean, that's the way it was. And then see the fencing? That's a dark gray. So it was a dark gray written on a light gray, but I was on the other side of it, okay? I'm just telling you, and when I say okay, I think a circle K because it's an O around a K or a circle around a K. Anyways, and uh, it had, okay, now see the hat right there, okay? This is on my dash. See the KC1122? That was written on the stone tablet. Now, when advertisers, when they do signs, they don't use gray signs with dark gray print because that's not a very effective, you know, coloring. They use bright red and bright yellow and blues, okay? So there's bright red, bright yellow, and, and blue. Well, what's crazy about this whole thing is that I'm just driving down the road, had no plan at all, and all of a sudden, I see KC1122 on a stone tablet. It was perfect, by the way. Like the distancing, I'll show you what I wrote on my hat real quick here. So the distancing between the, the so just like a license plate kind of has like a trim, there was a perfect trim about, you know, all the way around it, okay? I would say the sign itself, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of if there's, it was, I'm trying to think, uh, maybe where it says car wash on the Circle K sign, see that right there? That was about the size of the sign, but it was a two-tone light and dark gray, light gray with a dark gray print. So the distance, okay, now here's, I've got this on my hat, okay? <laughs> so check this out, okay? Here you go. So the distance between the top and the bottom, the bottom and the bottom, the sides, the side, and then there was a space between the KC and the 1 1 and the 1 1 and the 2 2. So this was a very well designed, perfect sign. And anyways, I've got an emergency response vehicle behind me thinking that I'm having a problem. Not really I'm doing a video. Anyways, I'll have to continue this because I'm going to explain why I'm here and I'll explain more about this later. All right, thank you.